Hey all, welcome to English class at Satya Adhika Rinesh. Today we are going to learn about C.V. Raman. The name of the chapter is C.V. Raman as its science communicator, a historical perspective which is written by G.V. Pawan Kumar. It's a chapter included in the AAC for science students. Let's have a look at the introduction to C.V. Raman. He was born in 1888 in Tamil Nadu, India. He displayed an early aptitude for science and mathematics. We know that he is a great scientist and from his birth or from his childhood onwards, he showed very much interest in science subjects as well as mathematics. Later, he held some prestigious positions such as uh, a professor at the University of Calcutta and director of the Indian Institute of Science, that is IISE. Ever thought why the sky is blue and the sea is blue? It is because of the Raman effect. The Raman effect is a phenomenon uh, which refers to the scattering of light with a change in wavelength, which was naturally discovered by our C.V. Raman during the year 1928. This Raman effect opened new avenues in study of light and matter interaction. It paved uh, or it laid a lot of discoveries later. He was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics during the year 1930 for this discovery of the Raman effect. Let us go through some of the uh, inventions or some of the studies which were conducted by C.V. Raman later or apart from uh, the Raman effect. Uh, the first one is acoustics and music. Acoustics means uh, sound related things. Uh, here he conducted these experiments or researches on the acoustics of Indian musical instruments, how this music is being produced by the strings or something. Then the next uh, main study uh, that is uh, uh, it's always the central of uh, Raman's all researches that is optics and light. Uh, it's an extensive work on the scattering of light and color in various substances and he experimented, he conducted many experiments how light is going through uh, other objects. Uh, the la la light is scattering while it is going through the atmosphere or through the uh, air. Uh, that was the Raman effect. Then he conducted some other experiments how uh, light is being deviated while it is going through some other objects like prism. You must have done uh, the prism experiment in your physics paper when you um, are in plus two. And at that time you uh, must have noticed that the light has been uh, deviated or it has been scattered into seven colors after uh, going through a prism. Uh, such experiments were conducted by C.V. Raman later. Then crystal dynamics investigated the physical properties of crystals and their interaction with the light. How crystals are responding to light. We know that the diamond is so beautiful. Why? Because of the light. How it is reflecting the light is very important. So such studies were conducted by C.V. Raman later. Let's analyze the dual role of C.V. Raman as a scientist as well as a communicator. Uh, for sure, he was a scientist. He was a well accomplished scientist. He has won Nobel Prize for uh, physics during the year 1930 for his experiments. He was very renowned for his meticulous systematics researches and numerous contributions to physics. Apart from all these things, he was a very effective communicator. Who is a communicator? A communicator is a person uh, who is communicating something uh, to his fellow beings, to his peers, to the public, uh, to his students or something. He was an effective communicator means he could effectively communicate his knowledge to all the people around him. That is effective communicator. He engaged in public lectures, wrote popular articles and participated in media broadcasts to make science accessible to all. 
we know that for a common man science is not at all an accessible thing it is beyond his or her reach uh, if he or she is a very common man or woman uh, but cv raman uh, conducted many um lectures as well as uh, he published many articles uh, apart from this he uh, has participated in media broadcasts with all these things he communicated his knowledge to the public or to the common people then apart from this he believed in the importance of disseminating scientific knowledge to the general public and inspiring future generations why he has done uh, all these things he disseminated disseminated means spread his knowledge to the public communicated his knowledge to the public only because he wanted to inspire the future generation because why because uh, the future scientists are one among the uh, public right so he wanted to uh, find out the talented persons or ignite or to impart light to the future generations hope you have understood this video on cv raman Uh, in the next part let's discuss uh, on some other things uh, regarding cv raman uh, or uh, the details of his public communication or his interaction with his students etc okay thank you bye bye